Hey guys, Brian here with another video and today I wanted to bring you top 5 Town Hall level 9 war bases. Now, I am using my air server so I am able to be in the picture. Um, it might lag a little bit on your screen, I apologize, however it is just a base so I don't think it will be um, that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, so a little disclaimer, I, I did this on stream and you guys voted on which ones you guys thought were the best. Now, these are not the best bases in the world, um, I am going to, I just think these are the best ones in my opinion. I looked at about 50 bases. Um, 50 to 60 different bases. I've researched them. These are not my original base design, guys. Um, that'd be crazy if I had one. Um, this is a farming base, of course, but we're going to get started, guys. We're going to go ahead and look at number five, and we'll talk about what makes these bases good and why I picked them for my top five. So let's go ahead and move on to base number five. Sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see here, we got base number 5. Now, this base is a really cool base design. Um, it, it can be flipped any way you want. Um, you got the town hall in the center, of course. It's it's kind of off-center though, it's kind of to the side. And this is also something I was a little concerned about. We, we talked a lot about off-center town hall bases. However, I don't feel like those are the best bases because a lot of hardcore clans will figure out how to 3-star those bases. And um, there are very limited amounts. There's not limited amounts. There's a good combination of bases, but I feel like these bases are just a lot better. So this base right here, the Expos are in a really good place. Um, I had a little bit trouble with the placement of the Teslas. I, I, I don't know which one's better. I think this one is good because if the, you do get hogged with this base, these big bombs are going to go ahead and blow up any hogs that get to the center. Um, one thing I really don't like about this base though is if you look as your lure your lure components here, the heroes as well as the clan castle are all together. So if anything attacks you from this side, they're going to be able to lure that out. So that might be a little issue with this base. Um, that is yet to be unseen. Um, however, I feel that this base is really strong from this side as well. And any air, air attacks you get from this side, the air sweeper is going to take care of. And if you get attacked from this side, you do have the air air bombs over there to take care of those but you also have a nice spread out array of air traps and seeking air mines so really nice base here a lot of the base is on the outside as well so if they are trying to go for that two star they're gonna have to commit a whole lot of troops to the outside instead of just rushing the town halls so really strong base here you guys can definitely play around with the placement of the Teslas as well as the giant bombs I tried putting both Teslas here because there wouldn't be any defenses in the center for any bombs or, um, I'm sorry, for any hogs or balloons to get to. Um, but really interesting base here, guys. And this was base number five. Let's go ahead and take a look at base number four. Alright guys, here we got base number four. Now, this base has a whole bunch of things I like about it. But it also has some things I don't like about it. Let's talk about it though. Um, so we talked about lure components on the last base. We're going to start off with that one. As you can see, we have a nice triangle with the lure component. So anywhere somebody attacks from, they're always going to have to deal with two of the lure components being on the opposite side of the attack. Um, however, the clan castle can be lured pretty easily with this one with probably just a balloon or two. And I feel like this base is really susceptible to air attacks. Um, I don't know if we can change that by moving around the air sweeper. I feel like this is the best way. You're kind of bluffing people with this base. And um, basically saying, go ahead and attack me from here. And some people get psyched out and they'll attack you from this side. Um, maybe they'll attack you from the bottom. But as you can see on this bottom half, we have a lot of tanky storages that people are going to have to deal with. And when you move to the top half, they, there's even more storages up here. I'm sorry, there's less storages, but of course there's um, tankiness on this side as well. You got the dark elixir storage. You got um, the elixir storages up here. So really tanky. So the best way to probably attack this base is from these corners over here um, from the left or the right and they're gonna have to deal with some bombs and a whole bunch of traps and it's just gonna be a miserable time from wherever they attack you from um, however I do feel that this base is susceptible to air attacks that's why I placed it at number four and you guys picked it as well um, but yeah let's go ahead and move on to base number three here we are on base number three now this base is a little symmetrical, which probably isn't the best thing for war bases. However, there are some things I really like about this base. The trap placement is awesome. The expos are uneven, which kind of threw me for a loop at first. Um, but I, I do think this base will hold up against attacks that come at it. You have the Teslas in different areas. 
Um, I'm not sure if I agree with the Tesla down here though. This is something you guys can decide. You can either put your Tesla down here or you can put it in here. Same thing with this one. It is completely up to you guys. Um, I think that people will be expecting that though, so they're going to attack you from different angles. So we're kind of going heavy on the bottom side here. You got the four giant bombs. We're bluffing people with these blank spaces over here on the right and the left side that say, hey, I got big bombs there, but you really don't. And that is a component to a good war base, I believe. Um, we have a lot of tankiness up at the top um, with the storages here, as well as a whole bunch of layers of walls that people have to get through. And if anybody does attack us from the top, they got the skeleton trap, and of course they have the lure of the clan castle to deal with, as well as the archer queen, which is always nice. Um, you can always play around with these giant bombs, by the way. Maybe you can put one in here just in case you're getting attacked from the top a whole bunch. But I feel like this base um, is overall pretty strong. The only weakness I could see really is being attacked by air from over here, um, especially because you have a whole bunch of buildings on the outside on this side. Um, you do have a lot of tankiness with the dark elixir storage and the gold storage over here. And then you have a whole bunch of defenses and traps. But I, I feel like if they can overpower that and get to this air defense, you're going to be in, in a load of trouble. So that's why I kind of stacked these seeking air mines on this side just so we can take out any lava hands that come at us. Um, for town level nine though, I know hogging is an issue as well. Ho somebody hogging from the top, I think could be a downfall of this base too. So that's why I think you guys and myself place this base at number three. Um, let's go ahead and move on to base number two though, guys. All right guys, here we go with base number two. Now this is a very interesting base. It's kind of got a leafy design to it and um, it's very symmetrical. However, I really like this base and the fact that anywhere you attack from, you're going to deal with two lure components. So let's say you attack from this top left over here um, and you make your way to that mortar. If you have defense specific attacking troops, um, you're going to have to deal with the clan castle as well as the barbarian king, which is going to be really, really nice. Um, if you talk from, from the top right, same thing over here, you got the clan castle and the archer queen. You attack from the bottom over here, you're going to have a whole bunch of big bombs. That archer queen is going to hit you and then as soon as you get near the town hall, Guess what? The clan castle is coming. Same thing over here. It's got nice air defense. We put the air sweeper this way, kind of like a uh, mind games. I went ahead and put all my air traps into the, the center just in case anything makes their way there. Um, it might be better to face it down here. That is completely up to you. Um, I don't really think the air sweeper is all that important, but I mean, we can we can place it down. I think that looks good. So we're pretty much protected from all sides on defense. We're really tanky over here around our air sweeper, which is nice. And our town hall is really, really protected from pretty much all angles. So this is just a great base. Um, I recommend using this on war. It's going to be pretty hard to two-star you unless they know what they're doing and they have some higher level troops than you or um, our town hall level 10. But great base here, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to base number one. All right, guys. Last but not least, we have base number one. Now let's talk about this base. Um, at first glance, you guys are probably like, wait, why are all the traps in the center? Um, part of being a good war base is to play mind games with the other people. They don't know where your traps are. And if you look at this base without the traps, it is going to look very, very scary. You're going to assume there's big bombs everywhere. And then once they get to the center, they're going to meet, they're going to meet their makers. So anything that makes it to the center, there's going to be a whole bunch of traps for them. Um, you have so many lure components in the center. That's going to be really, really great. You got the triangle with the lure components as well. So that's nice. Wherever they attack you from, they're gonna have to deal with um, some components. Your town hall is really protected by those. And uh, wizard towers are a nice spread. Air defenses are the only thing that worries me a little bit on this base, but even if they head towards those air defenses, you got these storages here to protect them. So really, really tanky. And um, really, really, really great base. So really tanky from the bottom. It might be a little bit weak from the sides. We're kind of hoping the attack is from this right side over here. Um, it might be better maybe if we put the air sweeper on, on this side to kind of entice them from attacking from over there. However, I find that a lot of people like to attack from the same side as the air sweeper or right at this angle right here parallel to it. But um, people people um, will struggle with this base any, any side they attack it from. So let's say they attack from this left side, which is probably the weakest side of the base. And uh, you can change that around by moving around traps and stuff. This is all your personal preference and what you guys have experienced. If you move around those bombs to over here, um, you'll probably have a much better experience. But people can just put down some jump spells and probably get into the center and um, not struggle. Um, so I recommend if you don't already have your clan castle upgraded to level 5, I don't. And put a lava hound in there and you will have a lot of success defending with this base, guys. 
Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my top five Town Hall Level 9 Air Sweeper War Base designs. I want to thank Melissa, Miss Boxer, for letting me use her account. Um, and I want to thank Blackmaster for helping me with some bases and Apple Ninja and everyone from Eliminate and you guys who were in my stream. I appreciate that. Don't use these bases, guys, if you want to save Dark Elixir. I've actually lost a whole bunch of Dark Elixir using these bases overnight. Um, I actually lost one of the defenses, too. I, I had no Clan Castle troops, and my traps were almost... Uh, my tra I had no traps, so that guy was able to one-star me. But we got some defensive wins while we were on it. Um, as you can see, we got those three right there, which is pretty nice. But Dark Elixir hits all around. But hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let's see if we can hit 800 likes, and you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.